Paintings are a great way to express what we are and what we believe. It's usually the first thing we think about when we talk about art. But an art piece just doesn't hold expression, but something sinister as a connection to the paranormal. And that's when they affect us more. So let me take you on a tour of the top 10 haunted paintings. Portrait of Delphine Lalori Mardet by Grass Bricard. When it comes to spooky paintings, this one's pretty tame. This simple portrait of a lady has been seen at times rocking back and forth, and even falling down from where it's hung, including faint voices and the smell of smoke. It has even caused the owner to leave their home out of terror. It's still not known where the painting is now. Painting of a Headless Man by Laurie P. The artwork is based on a strange photograph of an old-fashioned stagecoach with a headless figure near it. Laura herself even felt uneasy while painting it. The buyer of the painting himself would find it crooked every morning when he woke up, with no explanations. Also, knocks on the door and the sound of dogs barking. It was responsible for so much paranormal activity even Laura wishes he never painted it. Madame Marie Lavou by C. M. Gandolfo. This New Orleans voodoo queen portrait is surrounded with chilling stories. It's said that her eyes stare back at you. Even going beyond the painting, she's known to haunt the dreams of the people who laid eyes on her. The Dead Mother by Edvard Munch This famous artist is responsible for one of the most depressing artworks ever. The work is believed to represent lost childhood. Most people have felt very unsettled by the painting, even hearing rustling of the bedsheets of the dead woman. It feels effective on a different level. Portrait of Bernardo de Galvez an old school case of haunting surrounds this Spanish military leader's portrait. Located at Hotel Galvez in Texas, hanging in the downstairs hallway, witnesses say the eyes follow while passing by, even giving off a cold chill. In order to take a picture of the thing, you have to ask Bernardo's permission, or it will come out ruined, very similar to the infamous Robert the Haunted Doll. Man Proposes, God Disposes by Sir Edwin Landseer. This historic painting commemorates the lost voyage of St. John Franklin, with polar bears feasting on the doomed crew, making it haunting to begin with. It's located in the University of London and is covered by a Union Jack flag, because students fear that the painting will drive them mad and cause them to fail exams. Love Lesser's Replica by Richard King. It's unknown who the little girl in the painting is. It hangs at the Driscoll Hotel in Austin, Texas, with several ghost stories connected to the painting, including the ghost of Samantha Houston, a child who died right in the hotel. Staff have reported that the painting made them feel dizzy and nauseous. The Angerst Man One of the most disturbing paintings in history, created by an artist who committed suicide after using some of his own blood to complete the work. It's said to have a great curse, and becoming very popular through a series of YouTube videos on the internet involving poltergeist activity. The Crying Boy by Bruno Amedio it said that Bruno found this cherub-faced crying child whose parents had just been killed in a fire. He decided to paint him. Originally from Italy, it's been blamed for starting several fires, but the portrait itself somehow survives and is undamaged. There is so much hysteria about the painting itself. 
there was a campaign in the UK to destroy all copies. The Hands Resist Him by Bill Stoneham America's most famous haunted painting ever. It's nothing more than a child and a doll standing by a glass door. Owned once by John Marley. Stories ranging from people feeling violently ill while looking at it, to the boy himself coming out the painting, including an art critic who died a year later from coming in contact with the artwork. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. This is Max Media signing out.